As a kid, she used to drive her mother and I out of our minds. Crazy idea after crazy idea. But when she was set on something, she stopped at nothing. When she had an idea, she'd think about it for hours, until she felt sure about it. With all its different angles and details, she was intensely curious and very, very passionate. This meant she ran up against lots of brick walls, but deep down she didn't really care what others thought or about taking risks either. She never gave up. That's why when she told us she wanted to start her own business, we thought great. We gave her all the help we could, but it was tough. She would ask me if I thought she'd make it, and I always replied that no one ever said it would be easy. And she always answered that nobody ever told her that it would be so hard. Years passed and her life seemed to be a bit of a roller coaster up and down, with days when she had a hard time seeing any light at the end of the tunnel. Don't think about it as a failure, we'd say. See it as an opportunity. But I was amazed that she never gave up. I didn't understand how she stuck to it for so long, what made her carry on when it seemed that everything was against her. She had to change plans, backtrack, look for more money, start afresh, barrier after barrier like some obstacle course. Until finally, that idea I thought was just crazy suddenly turned into something real. When the first shop she opened began to take off, she decided to open a second, and then a third. She sold in Paris, in Rome, and that was just the start. The day finally came when you could see happy customers, workers with a good job and security. Things were working out, and you realized it had all been worth it, that your daughter was going to help to make the world a better place. Every entrepreneur deserves a tribute. Thanks, entrepreneurs. ESA, supporting entrepreneurs for 50 years.